Hi guys, this is just one video of a series of videos in which I'm gonna explain or maybe show you the way I solve these equations. I balance these equations with the method of ion electron in the redox reactions. Okay, so first of all, we need to check out the charges of all the um, atoms here at the at the formula at the at the at the formula to be balanced. Right, so this uh, we have here we got a uh, minus two net charge, which means that if oxygen is minus two times seven, that's m minus fourteen. It means that this is gonna be six in order to have a net charge of minus two. The other guy, the other guys here in the equations are not gonna change much. Well, they are very clear that uh, it is very clear that the crown changes from 6 to 3 and the uh, iron changes from 2 to 3 uh, to 2 mm, t from 2 to 3 right so these are the two the first two we're gonna take to have the half, re half reaction uh, placed and balanced so let's see we have a crown 207 right which has a uh, oxidation number of 6 and it's gonna change to three. We're gonna fit everything with water. So if we have the need of seven oxygens, we need to place seven waters over here. But this involves the equation because we have 14 hydrogens here which are not here. So we just go ahead and place it. There you go. Now, um, there is another thing we need to do before uh, we start uh, changing and uh, balancing the charges. We have two crumbs here and we have one crumb here. Oh, just go ahead and place two here. So the things are just balanced in one side and the other because we have 14 hydrogens here, 14 hydrogens here, two crumbs here, two crumbs here, seven oxygens here and seven oxygens here. But still we have an unbalanced charged in both side of the in both sides of the equation. See, each crumb takes three electrons because it's it's changing from six to three. So it means that in order to change two crumbs from six to three, we have to use six electrons. So we put them here. There you go. So this is the first half reaction, and the other, it's gonna be made with iron, which changes from two to three. It means it's gonna lose electrons. So if from here to here is losing one electron, as you can see, it goes from plus two to plus three, I need to put one electron here. <coughs> Now we solve this like if it was uh, two equations with uh, two, um, well, you remember, I know you remember. And we need to cancel out the electrons. This is the way I'm going to multiply by six, so it cancel out both sides of the equation, the electrons. And this is the equations that we're finally getting. Six electrons plus 14H plus plus Cr2O7. 2CR plus 3 and let's not forget yeah the oxidation numbers which is very important H202 okay so now we multiply and we t we have a multiplication number six irons with a multi uh, with an oxidation number of two six irons plus six electrons and we add them up cancel out and see if there is anything we can operate before we uh, do the adding. Well, nothing, right? Because there is no water here, so I can subtract from one side to the other. So, okay, so it'll be in another video. So let's see what we got. We got 14 hydrogens plus, right? Yeah, we have two crowns plus three plus six irons plus three plus 
seven molds of water right let's see if you can okay I miss, I'm missing this right plus six there you go uh, there you go so we see we now we check if everything is balanced from this side to side to the other side so we have 14 hydrogens here 14 hydrogens here I have two crumbs here, two crumbs here, seven high, uh, oxygens here, and I have seven oxygens here, six uh, irons here, and six irons here, and everything is okay. So now we're gonna check the charges. And here we need to multiply one times 14 because the uh, oxidation number of the hydrogen is one. So we get 14 here plus, okay, so I got one more of this times what's the net uh, charge of this minus two so one times minus two that's minus two and here we got 12 there you go plus 12 so the net number here is plus 14 minus 2 that's 12 12 plus 12 that's 24 plus to the other side 2 times 3 that's 6 plus 6 right and 6 times 3 that's 18 and you get 24 plus so this is the answer to this balanced equation this is in an acid medium right and you you get to see that this is an acid medium because you get uh, hydrogens in one side of the equation but if you need to uh, uh, balance this in an in a basic medium in a, in, in an, see this is acidity so in a basic in a basic part so you need to add up Uh, OH to both sides of the equation sides of the equation like such oh, just bear with me just for a second plus 2 ok 2 crown plus 3 plus 6 plus 7H2O so we need to add We need to hydroxyl uh, hydroxyl to both sides of the both sides of the equation, but the the point is to cancel out the hydrogens. So we need to add how many? We need to add 14, 14 in both sides of the equation. Sides of the equation. This is to turn this into water, and you know 14 OH plus. Uh, 14 hydrogens that's gonna give you 14 H2O right two seven plus six plus two I don't gonna be plus three plus six plus seven H2O plus 14 OH minus right now we have seven moles of water here and 14 moles of water here so just like in another equation like if we're solving for some equation you will um, subtract one quantity from the other so this means that that uh, 14 minus 7 is gonna give you seven moles of water but this half okay so seven moles of H2O plus Cr2O7 with a net value of minus 2 plus 2 will give you 2 Cr plus 3 plus C plus 3 plus oh, 14 moles of OH minus right and um, there you have it so thanks for watching I'll see you next time in the other video when I'm gonna show you uh, some other examples of uh, this ion oxidation oxidation method so you can be uh, a redox ninja in your school or college thanks for watching bye bye